Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title, um, today's video is going to be my makeup um, collection and storage. Um, I'll show you my vanity as well. It's a little bit cluttered. But I just don't have the room, so that's just how it is. Um, I also don't have a tripod that will be tall enough to use to show in my drawers. Um, so I will be holding my camera and hopefully that um, the shakiness doesn't annoy you. Um, if it does, I'm really sorry. But um, yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, and I hope you enjoy um yeah let's go okay so this is um like my setup i have um excuse the lights it's just lighting in my room is like not the greatest so i have this um full-sized mirror here um and then my desk which is from kmart um the lights are also from kmart um, the fairy lights are from um, Amazon or eBay. I don't know. But um, yeah, my drawers are from ones that was from CatchXL, CatchXL, Catch.com, but the brand is Vita XL. But I will leave them linked in the description. It's actually two stacked on top of each other. Um, these ones, the drawers are really wonky because I did them, like made them and obviously screwed it incorrectly, but it's okay. So we're going to start with, um, the vanity area. So we'll start from this side. So I have my Google Nest right here. I don't By use way, it. The mic's off. Um, with a little coaster. Then I have um, two things of brushes. This is from Kmart, this little container. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this one's from a place called Spotlight and it is a Oscar Wilde one. It says, any place, you, any place you love is the world to you. And I love that. With these cute little birds on the front. And this is just full of all my Morphe brushes. Um, yeah. And these are just random brushes. I think this one's a Morphe one. Yeah. Um, probably BYS and a lot of just odd Morphe um, ones. And this is like an incense stick. Not sure why that's in there. Okay, moving on. We have some bobby pin. Don't know why. Um, witch hazel toner, which is amazing. Um, this little Jolique, uh balancing mist. Um, this Marvelous spray, which I use, um, after I've powdered, um, the Ordinary Moisturizer, my jewelry, which I didn't wear for this video because it, like, makes a noise, um, when you move your arm, which is probably going to be annoying if I did that, um, blue light glasses, um, MAC Prep and Prime, um, a little Blistex, this Clinique Moisture Surge, um, little thing. Three of these are Weller and Colourpop bundles, which I just sit there because there's nowhere else to really put it. Um, a little candle, lip balm. This is a little essential oil, which I have nowhere to put it, so it's just sitting here. A random picture of Ariana. Um, not sure why. <laughs> um, and two more things of brushes. So I have this one's, this pot's from Kmart. Um, and there's like Morphe brushes. These are my bigger face brushes. And then here I have... Oh, that was weird. My voice. Um, here we have like brushes from Wish and stuff. Um, I love this brush. This is the powder brush I use. Royal and Langnickel powder brush. Um, and there's also like pens and stuff in here. Um, because, you know, handy. Um, I've got tweezers, my eyelash curler. Um, I have this moisturizer. Um, here I have a brush and then my conspiracy palette, which I am yet to use and I'm unsure if I ever will use it. So yeah. Oh, and then I have this Colourpop uh, thing, which I got with my 
Zoella and Colourpop order and then this picture of me and my best friend from like literally like four years ago so super cool okay so moving on to my drawers okay so on the top of these drawers I just have my bigger palettes so I have the Morphe James Charles one two this is gonna be difficult two um Morphe palettes they're quite neutral my Morphe X Jeffree Star. Um, these are my go-to beauty ones, ones, which are the Danielle Brigoli uh, eyeshadow palettes. So is this one, go-to beauty. Um, have a little fan, which my mum, no, not my mum, my nan got overseas somewhere. Can't remember where. Then I have the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection here. Um, another go-to beauty one. Um, BYS Berries palette and my Zoella X Colourpop Brunch Date palette. Um, I have this little hand cream. It's almost run out. Um, love this. My favourite hand cream. Um, so in this little compartment, which I got this compartment from uh, Kmart. Did I? No, didn't get it from Kmart. Got it from Chemist Warehouse, but you can get them from Kmart. So I've got the Jeffree Star uh, concealer, which I barely use. Not really a fan of it, to be honest, but you know. Um, this sunscreen, which smells amazing. Um, a Jeffree Star liquid frost, which I never use. Um, the Jeffree Star uh, lipstick in Jeffree's Girl, which is super freaking pink. Um, don't wear that either have a Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade, question mark, that was from a um, mystery box, and then also another one in the shade Can't Relate, which these colours, this colour especially is very wearable, but I just don't reach for them, so probably because they're sitting up here, but that's fine. Um, so then I have the Jeffree Star um, Setting Powder in Translucent, which I actually love, only for under my eyes though. Um, and then the Flower Beauty setting powder. So then these three little things here. I have this little pot of um, Q-tips um, with some bobby pins, which I don't reach for them either. I reach for the um, Q-tips to clean up like mascara and stuff. And then I have these two perfumes, this Versace Red Jeans one and this Versace, um, I'm not sure what it's called. Eros, maybe? I'm not sure. But they smell amazing. Okay, so moving on to the actual drawers. In the top drawer, this is just where I put my makeup remover and stuff. So I have these from Kmart. These are so good. They're like $1.50, I think, for $30. Um, so that's nearly finished. And then I have two more backup ones. Um, then I have these makeup remover pads. Um, Maybelline eye makeup remover. Um, this little Bioderma Micellar uh, Water. Um, what's this? Oh, this is a little sample I got in an order. It's a toner, but I don't really use it. Um, and another simple eye makeup remover. So, yeah, I just put them in there because I feel like it's easy to just grab um, when removing makeup and stuff. So that's what's in the first drawer. So the second drawer is my lip products. So up the front here, I have like my um, lip liners and lip glosses. And up the back, I have my lipsticks um, and matte lipsticks. And here on the side, I have just some more lip balms. So I'll quickly go through a few just to give you an idea. So I have this Revolution lip gloss, this Essence one. Um, this is my favourite lip gloss. Um, it's by Floss in the shade LHR. Um, I got this out of a Bella box. It smells amazing and it is the perfect like gloss colour. Um, yeah. Then this Go To Beauty one, which is meant to be a knockoff of I can't remember Mac maybe. Um, I can't remember, but it's not a good color on me, so. Um, I got this I Heart Revolution one. Um, 
is BYS uh, Hydration and Volume um, Lip Plumper, which I don't think it actually plumps lips. Yeah. Um, there's So Well a Lip Oil. This lip balm, which costs like $10 for this lip balm, um, and it dries my lips out, so amazing. Um, this Natio lip balm. Um, this Chi Chi lip gloss. Um, this L'Oreal lip cream. Hayley Baldwin um, Model Co lip gloss in Billow. Absolutely love this. And it smells like Chubba Chubs, so amazing. Um, this lipstick is just from um, Wish. It's just a, oh, oh crap, like a darky kind of color. What else? This um, is a matte lipstick. Um, and I don't use it because I just don't really wear lipstick, to be honest. But mum got it from Vietnam. So that's why it's still in the box because I kind of want to keep it um, like that. <clears throat> and then I have this lip crayon, which think um, long lasting velvet lip and cheek crayon um, yeah um, I got this tint stick by UB um, that was from a Bella box as well um, this mellow lip liner an essence lip liner and then these are just lip liners from like wish um, and these model prefer lip balm which I have not used and then this um, Steve Laurent lip gloss which is very pink so I don't tend to use it much okay so this one is lipstick and um, yeah so I've got these two what brand are they covergirl lip jumbo lip creams jumbo gloss balms um, I don't tend to reach for them, but I have used them before and they are not bad. Um, this is not a review. What am I doing? <laughs> um, I have this Wet n Wild lipstick, which I've not used yet. Um, this Pixie lip balm, which is very pigmented, so that's why it's in here. Um, this Inglot Maya lipstick, which I love. This Style London lipstick. Um, this lipstick's just from um, Wish. Um, this lipstick was one of my first lipsticks, um, and I got it because this is the colour that, um, what's her name, kind of Bethany Moda, um, used to wear this all the time, so I got it, even though I didn't even wear makeup, but I had to have it because it's the colour that she'd wear, so got that. Um, I have this Tarte, um, matte lipstick, this So Susan matte lipstick, um, this NYX matte cream, I love this. Um, what's this? Just another uh, matte lipstick from Wish. Um, and this one's a BYS matte lipstick. And then I have this Go To Beauty one, which is the knockoff of MAC. Um, I have this. What brand is this? I can't remember what brand this actually is, but it's KM. Nothing nasty touches my lips. Um, it's, yeah, you know that shade I wouldn't wear? Um, this Kmart one, very pale on me, so I never wear it. Um, this NYX one, another of the same, but a different colour. Um, NYX with liquid suede in a very crazy purple, and then a Revlon. Um, what are they called? Ultra HD matte um, one. Okay, so then up the side here, I have three of these, which I can't wear because it dries my lips out um, for some reason. Um, I have this chapstick one, which is very pigmented. Um, it could be a lipstick, to be honest. Um, this Emco Beauty Rose Lip Balm. <clears throat> um, this Kmart one, and then an eco store one so that's that drawer um, moving on to the third drawer this is my foundations and concealers not much has really changed since my last makeup video um, yeah so we'll go concealers first I have this tiny little um, what do you call these 
sample for the Nude by Nature Liquid Mineral Concealer. Have not used it. This tiny little concealer from Wish. I keep all this Wish makeup in case I do another video one day, which I probably wouldn't, but you never know. Um, then this one, what's this? Um, this is literally just like a cheap one from the supermarket. Um, I got it for like a drama thing at school, to be honest. Oh, I forgot about this concealer. I love this concealer. It's the MK Beauty Hydrating one. Love it. Um, I have a Maybelline Fit Me, the Flower Beauty one, amazing. An LA Girl one, which is way too orange, and that's like the lightest shade, so crazy. Um, I have this OXX Studio one, Came Up Makeup. Again, BYS um, one. The Rimmel Wake Me Up, which used to be my all-time favourite. Still love it, but I'm running out, so I stopped using it. I don't know why I'd stop using it, because it's running out, but you know. Um, then I have three uh, Revolution Conceal and Defines, which are my favourite concealer. Um, for a, has been for a long time. This Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay. And then the Maybelline Age Rewind, which I've gone through like three of these. These used to be my favourite as well. Um, and then here I just have the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. Okay, moving on to foundations. I have a Nude by Nature BB Cream, which I hate the smell of this uh, BB Cream. Um, yeah, can't do much about that. Um, this Rimmel BB Cream NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat Liquid Foundation. I don't even know if I've used that yet. Uh, this model's prefer one. Love this. Um, the Matte and Poreless Fit Me one, which I think is too light for me. Um, this Longwear uh, Designer Brands one. Um, love this. It looks super natural. Um, and this Wet n Wild one, which I'm not a fan of, to be honest. Um, then here up the side, I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up. Um, Revolution Conceal and Define. Love that foundation. Um, OXX Studio, not a fan of that. And the Room London Match. So that is everything I have in this drawer. So moving on, this is my bronzer and my um, setting powders, powder foundations. Um, so we'll do bronzers first. Um, I have this, what is brand even is this? Rimmel. Um, bronzer which this was my first ever bronzer um, and it's the only bronzer I had for a long time which is why I have used it a lot but I do love this um, bronzer then I have this color theory one which is very very hard pressed in the pan um, so you don't really get much out of it but I like it um, then I have this uh, contour stick model co this is the only contour I own I don't tend to contour, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, I have this Model Co. <clears throat> um, I think this is meant to be a highlight, but it's very um, brown. Um, then I have this K-pop um, collab with Astralis. Oh, this is another contour. Okay, so I have two contours. Um, just proves how much I don't contour. But, yeah. Then I have this revolution, this huge revolution. You can see me. Um, this huge revolution uh, bronzer. A came up bronzer, which I don't like. It's very orange. Um, this Milani face powder in the shade Deep Amber. Um, it's actually a powder foundation, but I got it as a bronzer. So that's it. Um, I don't actually use it though, because it doesn't blend. Probably because it's not a bronzer. <laughs> um, a butter bronzer. This is my favourite bronzer. And I recently got this Bourjois um, chocolate palette. I don't know what it's actually called. But yeah, and it smells like chocolate and it's amazing. Okay, so moving on to my face powders. Um, I have this NYX Define Refine Powder Foundation. Uh, Maybelline Matte Maker Rimmel Clear Complexion Clarifying Powder. I have a Fit Me Powder here. Um, the Astralis Fresh and Flawless. This is a good powder. 
um, the little e.l.f. under eye powder, um, OXX Studio Kmart um, powder. This Maybelline Mineral Powder, which um, is a bit too dark for me. Um, and this Cover All Magic Halo. Um, this is from Wish. So, yes, that's everything in that drawer. So, moving on to the next drawer. This is my um, eye, eye stuff and my um, eyebrow stuff. So, for my um, eyelashes, I have, this is my all-time favourite, um, Lash Accelerator, amazing, by Rimmel. Um, I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, I have the other one too, the pink one. Um, Covergirl OXX, what's this one? Manakada, that's from Bellbox. Um, oh god. Um, Model Co. Uh, Maybelline Definer Lash. Uh, Benefit Bad Girl Bang. And then the Per Cosmetics, uh, fully charged one there. Um, up the side I have lashes, so I just have the Model Co. Beauty Magnetic Lashes, which are honestly crap, don't recommend. Um, the Stelazi ones, these are super pretty. I don't think I've worn them before. Um, amazing. And these Model Rock ones, which um, I don't... I think I've worn these once. Um, but I don't really wear lashes, so... So, in the little container up the back, Jeez Louise, this is hard to film. Um, I have my two eyebrow um, powders. I have the Bluriel Maybelline Define. Oh, I can't remember what brow this way. That's what it's called. Um, yeah, this was my first. This was my first eyebrow product, um, and I loved it. Um, if I can open it, you can see how much. <laughs> I used, um, yeah, I used quite a bit. There's a bit of a dent in there. Um, the Maybelline Master Brow Pro Palette. I have the uh, Maybelline Tattoo Brow uh, Gel Tint. Um, a Thousand Hour Brow Gel, BH Cosmetics Brow Gel. This is a fake Anastasia, Anastasia uh -huh, Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I don't use it. It's from Wish. Um, I have two of these. What even brand is this? I don't actually know what brand that is. But I have two of these uh, gel eyeliners. Um, that's like a blue one. And that's like a coppery colour. Um, then I have a lot of eyebrow pencils. I have this Kmart one. This Flower Beauty one, which is my favourite. Um, this Mellow one, which is just... Oh no, this is an eyeliner. Yeah. Mellow eyeliner. Um, this um, eyebrow pencil, Pop Feel, just from uh, Wish. Um, BYS eyeliner. This eyeliner is from Wish as well. Um, Zoella Colourpop eyeliner. Um, this is Steve Laurent. This is an eyeliner as well. Um, a dark brow pencil from Kmart. This eyebrow pencil is from Wish, um, BH Cosmetics brow pencil, which is in brunette, but it's literally grey, so don't know why. And another uh, Colourpop Zoella um, eyeliner. So, that's everything in that drawer. So, moving on to the top drawer in the bottom set. Um, this is my blush and highlighters so at the side I just have two face palettes I have this style London one um, with a blush banana powder highlighter and bronzer but the highlighter is super um, dark and the bronzer is more of a contour so yeah and then the Maybelline master contour palette um, yeah that was my first contour blush and highlight and I used to love that highlight but it's honestly not amazing Okay, so my blush, I have this designer brand's um, blush and highlighter 
duo. Um, I'm actually wearing that blush today. It's super pretty. Um, I have the Zoella Colourpop um, blush. Astralis Show Some Cheek. Um, the Revolution, a Revolution one. Fifth Avenue, which is Kmart Clarins. Absolutely love this little blush. If I can open it. Super freaking pretty. Um, a Milani Baked Blush and a Manicada, um Highlighter, Bronzer and I think it's meant to be a Highlighter, Bronzer and Blush but um, I just use it as like a blush topper. So yep, that's my blush. So my highlighter, I have the Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette. I love this. Um, I have the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Elixir Palette. Models Prefer Palette. Um, this is from Wish. It's like a little cream conce concealer. It says concealer on it. It's not concealer. It is a highlight. Um, it's a cream highlight. Um, then I have this Appeal Cosmetics. Um, like dropper highlighter. Um, I think this is Model Co. Yeah, a Model Co. Little one. This is from Wish. Um, OXX Kmart. This is also from Wish. Then I have um, what's this? I Heart Revolution Wet and Wild, and then the ColourPop Zoella one. Okay, so moving on to the next drawer. This is my um, eyeshadows that are the smaller palettes or like singles. Um, so we'll start with the singles. I have two of these Go To Beauty ones. Um, they're the knockoffs of Stila. Um, this Focalore um, like glitter liner, which always separates. And I've not yet used it. Um, this Manica Da um, single eyeshadow. This Model Co one with the three eyeshadows. This is a gorgeous little palette. Um, OBXX, that's a Kmart one. Which the reason I have all this Kmart makeup is um, because I have done a um, full face of Kmart makeup. Which if you want to watch it, it's on my channel. Um, yeah. I have this Luna by Luna single. What brand is this? Mineral Star Crush Glitter. This little loose glitter. Um, this is just from Wish. This Suva Beauty, super vibrant. Um, I think that's meant to be an eyeliner. Hydra liner, yeah. Um, and an eyeshadow primer. And did I mention the Zoella Colourpop um, ones there too? So then um, onto the palettes. I have this mini BYS, I think it's Peaches. Yeah, Peachy Pinks um, little palette. I have the Revlon Not Just Nudes palette. The BYS Temptress palette. I hate, hate the... Um, glitters in this it's literally just like vaseline with a layer of glitter on the top i don't recommend and like the colors aren't that amazing in it so i never use it um uh, this oh geez i have this uh nyx avant pop palette i've used this like once or twice um this is one of my first palettes as well um i got this revolution makeup revolution palette in neutrals three I have this W7 Blazin palette and then up the back. Um, I have this knockoff of the balm from Wish, which I actually like this palette. It's super good for like a neutral on the go look. Um, this is a little palette that mum got me from Vietnam, which is why it's still in the box. Um, and this fake Huda Beauty palette, which I also genuinely like so that's the eyeshadows okay moving on to the next drawer it gets pretty boring from here um this is just my primers and sprays and like sponges and stuff so i have this covergirl um 
primer, which was my first ever primer. So there you go. Um, this Revlon uh, Prep and Protect Wet and Wild Spray, which I hate the spray on, sprayer on this. Um, yeah, not a fan. This designer brand spray and set. This Swiss Deep Sea Hydrating this Toner. Um, this little Bobbi Brown face base, which I love this, but I, it's small and it's expensive, so I don't really want to use it. Um, this designer brand uh, Luminescent Primer and this Fifth Avenue Kmart setting spray. Um, so then these little sponges are just um, Kmart, uh, Morphe, Kmart. I don't know where this one's from. I think I've got it in a Bella Box. This is from a Bella Box. This is my favourite sponge. It's super spongy. Um, this Flower Beauty one, which I got with the powder, but I don't use it. So, yeah. This little thing that no one uses. Um, con concealer. Highlighter. Brush. Um, brush cleaner thing. And then an eyelash curler thing. So... So this drawer is a face, like skincare and hand cream. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff that I don't really use. I have this uh, night cream. This smells amazing, this Thalgo one. I used to use it like every night, but I just, I slack on skincare. Um, this a new Genix uh, treatment cream. Um, cocoa butter formula skin therapy oil for your face, which I don't use because I've learnt that putting oil on my face breaks me out, so I can't really use it. Garnier Skin Active uh, Moisturizer. This Burt's Bees Night Cream. I used to use this every night. And when I was doing it, like, oh, like when I had a skincare routine, I didn't really see a difference in my skin. So, yeah. Um, this, I think this is just a, a moisturizer. Um, Olay Illuminating Eye Cream, um, Cocoa Butter Formula Eye, eye Dark Circle Correcting Eye Treatment, and then this little pack of um, like oils, I think they are. Yeah, I don't know. I've got it in my advent calendar um, last year. So I'd say this year, but. It's not been Christmas this year yet. Um, then up the side, I just have little samples. So I have this little uh, facial moisturizer with SPF 50, which is amazing. Um, this Purity, I'm not quite sure what this even is, cleanser for face and eyes. Um, QV moisturizing cream, Lancome. Honestly, don't even know what that is. Youth Activated Concentrate. I have two um, creams for like dermatitis. Um, then I have this Olay Skin Renewal Cleanser. Don't know why there's a cleanser in here, but there is. Coconut Oil Body Lotion, Jolique Signature Serum, and Coconut oil firming lotion. Um, up the back, I just have hand creams. So I have this more lychee flower hand cream. Smells amazing. The Zoella Beauty uh, Wonder Hand Cream. L'Occitane Hand Cream. Um, this Do It Tough Hands for Her uh, Intensive Skin Repair Hand Cream. And then a hand sanitizer. So that is that drawer and the very last drawer of my collection is all face masks. So I have all of like my sheet masks here. These are little masks I get in my Bella box. Um, I have this Manuka Honey one. Um, this Brightening Peel Mask. Um, Garnier. I have this Vita mask. Mas masks, sleep in mask. It's super cute. It looks like a little egg there. Um, these are eye patches. These brands I've never heard of, but they're apparently expensive. 
according to Bellbox. So they should be good. Um, this is an eye mask as well. I have these pimple patches, um, anti-aging mask, which I um, don't really need. Um, a go-to beauty one, which I should probably, to be honest, use these because I've had them for a while. Um, this hydrating tissue mask. This one looks amazing, honestly. Um, it's a pure calming mask. I have these lip masks from Kmart. I mean, yeah, lip masks, eye masks from Kmart. Um, and these are all eye masks from Kmart. And then up the back, I have my masks that are in like these little tubes. So I have the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Hydrating Facial Mask. That's actually really good. Um, this one coconut one this is just from Kmart um an Enbachi and Backy detoxifying clay mask this Dr. Botanicals sleeping mask sand and sky pink clay mask this canvas uh mask Neutrogena deep cleansing purifying clay mask clay can cleanser and mask um this little tea tree mask and this Garnier one up the back so yeah, that is everything in my collection. So that is my um, makeup collection for the 2020. Um, that's crazy. 2020. Wow. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to be a part of this small little family we have here. Make sure to stay positive and of course love yourself. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.